my new best friend. Hey folks, good morning. It's nice to see you. I can't see you. It is a Tuesday morning here in London. It's nice and sunny. Although we're expecting a little bit of rain later, so I'm getting this video in nice and early. Today, I'm gonna be making a coffee dripper. Um, so this is for filter coffee. Um, for those of you who drink filter coffee, I'm a big filter fan. You get a paper filter and you put it in here, you put your coffee in and then you pour some water over top. And then the coffee drips down into a coffee pot or a cup um, ready for you to caffeinate yourself. So here we are, this is the finished product. This is a whole set that I sell, but I also sell the coffee guys just by themselves. Um, so today I'm gonna to show you how I make it. So there's a few important things for you to consider when you're making a um, dripper. You need somewhere for the coffee to drip through. Um, you don't want this hole to be too big because then um, the coffee is gonna drip too fast. You also, uh, some people do like two or three holes. I like just to do one hole. There's a product which a lot of you may be familiar with called V60, um, which has sort of this spiral um, kind of pattern on the inside and that is to um, help with the airflow so that um, air can get out, I think, as the coffee goes in. But I add a little tiny hole there that you can see um, and that helps with um, airflow. So if you think about, if you've got uh, your dripper on a cup and the coffee is dripping in, ignore that we've got a spout here. If you were brewing into a cup, um, the coffee is going to be going down and the air needs to come out. So if you aren't using a pot, if you're using a cup, then you won't have a spout. You need somewhere for that air to escape. So I put a little hole in and that seems to do the trick. Right, let's get to throwing. I am going to be throwing on a bat as usual. So we're going to start with the bat ring. So I'm using about 600 grams of clay here. Um, I like to have a little bit extra when I'm throwing these shapes so that I can give it a nice fat um, base. So once the piece is, once the ball of clay is centered, we want to separate the base and the cone part. So I'm going to do that just by squeezing my fingers in a little bit and um, sort of establishing that separation. I'm just going to flatten this part out a little bit, but not too much um, because we will kind of distort it as we are throwing the cone part. So now I'm going to open up, not all the way down, um, but like you would a cup, um, just leave a little bit extra at the bottom. Now I'm going to pull this up and then I'm going to shape it out.
So I like to just measure the height um, and trim it off before it gets too high and unruly. Press the rim. And then I'm gonna make sure it's the right uh, width. satisfying. Now we're just going to clean up this base again and then we are pretty much good to go. So I'm doing this just with my finger sort of squashing it down and flattening it out and then I think I'll go in with a wooden knife tool just to finish it off but I don't like to mess with it too much at this stage. Um, if I really want to clean it up well, I can um, do it in the trimming, trimming stage. Okay, now I'm just going to take this water out from the inside. So here she is, my new little friend. Um, next time I deal with this guy, I will take it off the bat when it's a little bit more dry and then I will flip it over and we'll trim the foot ring into it and the hole for the um, coffee to drip through. Here she is. I will see you again for part two, which is going to be the trimming part. Um, make sure to join me uh, for that to learn how to sort of finish this guy off. Um, yeah, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like. Um, these are my thumbs, the hitchhiker's thumbs. Um, if you can throw me one of these, please do. If you've got a nice, um, I don't know, Kind of Facebook thumb then I'll take that as well. Also um, head on over to Instagram I'm uh, at may mae dot ceramics where I post a lot more than I do here on YouTube. So yeah thanks for joining me I'll see you again next time.